Hello chat boys out there, today in this vlog I'm going to be telling you guys all about what I got to on my week slash weekend. I hope you guys have all had a lovely week and you're all enjoying your weekend. On my Monday I got up after a nice lion and I didn't have work until the evening so I had my uniform ready for work in the evening and I got myself ready to go off and get my hair cut and I was just watching a bit of TV, just a bit of music, just enjoying and coming in and just watching some vlogs and TikToks and catching up on a bit of Neighbours. And then I got myself ready to go off to get my hair cut and head off up to the barbers and got my hair cut. And the lady that does my hair has been cutting my hair for a long time and she always does such a great job. And she even did my beard, shaped it up a bit. And we were having a lovely catch up and it's always great when you get my haircut i always love the confidence boost a haircut gives you and after that i got a mirror selfie from there and i'm going to show you guys a photo of the mirror selfie i got from there now then after that i popped around the corner to shelly's and got a breakfast from there and i'm going to show you guys a photo of that now shelly's breakfast was so delicious I then stayed in there for a bit and let my food go down and then I went off and had like one of the child shops and bumped into my family friends and their little baby who is just the cutest baby ever and was having a nice catch up with them and went off to one of the flower shops and I got some flower sacks so I'm going to show you guys now. love all the pretty colours on the flowers, especially the sunflowers. Sunflowers, roses and daisies are three of my favourite flowers to get snaps of. And then I got a mirror selfie in front of some flowers and some sunflowers and I'm going to show you guys that mirror selfie now. I love a mirror selfie, as you guys know. I then got some snaps from the plant section that I'm going to show you guys. I was then just chatting with the flower shop keepers in there and then I went off and had a look around some more of the child shops and went into one of the book shops and then popped into one of the newer flower shops just at the top of the high street and got some flower sacks from outside of the flower shop that I'm going to show you guys now. I then went inside and got some stats from the plant section that I'm going to show you guys now. I love the plant pot in the end photo that I showed you guys with the white flower pot with the orange flower detail on which is so stunning and also that white coffee cup as well with the plants in then after being there for a bit i then went off to costa and got myself an iced coffee from there i am now an iced coffee drinker i never thought i'd be a one to like coffee but i'm slowly getting on the coffee train mm -hmm. and so i've been getting into that and whilst waiting to get my iced coffee from yeah i got a mirror selfie from there and I'm going to show you guys that now. I love that wallpaper they have in there with all the plants all over it, it's so cute. And then again, I bumped into my family friends and a little baby again. I go for not seeing them for ages and then one day I see them like three times, which is lovely, it was great to see them. And I then got my iced coffee and headed off and I'm going to show you guys a snap of the iced coffee that I got from Costa now. The iced coffee was so delicious. Then I made my way home and on the way back, I had a lovely stroll back and I got some flower sacks that I'm gonna show you guys. I then got home and I was sorting out my Bleacher doll and sorted out into two new looks that I'm gonna show you guys clips of now. Here's my first Bleacher doll look out of the two. This one has these purple shoes, they're like maroon colour actually, and they've got bows on and flowers on the backs, which is so cute. You can see this. 
it's in the book. And then she has these blue denim shorts and then this purple floral long sleeved netting sleeved top which is double chain necklace and then this black hat. Here's the second Peter Toll look. So she's got these black boots on and these netting stockings and she has this amazing Tiffany hair style Barbie dress on. It's a long sleeved dress with lots of swirls on it. It's very 60s vibes, very 90s, 60s kind of vibes with the colors and the swirls and patterns on. And of course has her black hat, which I love to put her in. And then the dress actually has a little bit at the back, which is an open back and there's a little button that you put push it back on and yeah that is my beta dolls new look the second one out of the two new looks and i love the dress on this one so much and then this one's shoes they're so cute my beta dolls looking stunning as ever then i listened to it in music this is drawing coloring in and was reading some more of solitaire had a couple of tins of biscuits i was watching a bit of a city into country and garden rescue and then i got myself ready for work and i got dropped off to work and got clocked in and put my bag away and it was me and tash on clothes and we absolutely slayed as always smashed out all the clothes with cleaning jobs and we had some nachos and some garlic bread whilst on our shift that i got and so that was what i had for my tea and we all this running lots of food and drinks, cleaning tables, doing food and drink orders and bill taking. I even did a few coffees and was doing some wines and putting some pints and always had such great fun whilst on shift with Tash. And we had great songs playing as well. And then after work, we clocked off and went off to the pub and had drinks from the pub. And then I got picked up and I got back and then I finished writing my journal, put that away, got to my pyjamas and had some cereal and was just watching the UK soaps and Love Island and Home and Away and then watched some stuff off a cord. I then went off to bed and then on my Tuesday, I got up and got myself ready to go off for a massive walk and it was a lovely sunny day and had some toast and a cup of tea and was just watching some stuff on Netflix and listened to a bit of music and then I head off on my walk and I got some flower snaps that I'm going to show you guys now. It was such a lovely day. I went for such a big walk. My legs were absolutely knackered by the end of it. And I then went off and had a look around some of the child shops and went off and got myself a Greg's lunch and I'm gonna show you guys a photo of the Greg's I had now. I then went off and had a look around some of the shops and went off into one of the craft shops and was having a good look in there and went off into one of the flower shops that I hadn't been in yet and got some flower stuff from there that I'm gonna show you guys now. I then popped a cup to get some bits and bobs from there and then I made way back and on the way back I got some more flower stuff so I'm going to show you guys now. Then when I was back I was watching some stuff off record, just a bit of music and just did some drawing and colouring in and was watching some vlogs and TikToks and some funny dog and cat videos. I was then just reading a bit more of Solitaire and had a cup of tea and some biscuits. And then I was just sorting out my bleach at doll and tidy up my office and dollhouse a bit. And then I got myself ready to go off to Jigs of Wanting, which I do on Tuesday nights. And I was going to be walking up. So I started walking up and then my older brother was off to rugby training. So he stopped and gave me a lift for the rest of the way which meant I didn't have to walk the whole way, which is nice of him to do so. And then I got to Carp and got myself a drink and then got to Jigsaw and we headed off to go to the gym, just up the way from there. And we had a gym session there, which was really fun. And we did a little circuit and a bit of a warm up. And then I went on the running machine and the treadmill and 
the exercise bike and was doing some weights and yeah it was a good session and then I walked back and I got back and got showered and changed into my PJs and then for my tea I had a fry up and I'm going to show you guys the photo of that. Fry up tea was so delicious then after that I went off on a little evening stroll and I got some flour snacks that so I'm going to show you guys. It was such a lovely evening stroll. I'm loving the lighter evenings and it stays lighter for longer, which is good. Then I got back and I watched the UK soaps and Home and Away and finished writing my journal. There's just some music and I was doing some drawing and colouring in and had a cup of tea and some biscuits and went some more of solitaire. And then I went off to bed and then on my Wednesday, I got up ready to go meet Tash for a walk and I had some mini pancakes with some blueberries and strawberries and a cup of tea for my breakfast. I'm gonna show you guys a photo of that. I then got ready to go off to meet Tash and then headed off up to meet Tash up by Audi to then go off for our walk. And on the way up to meet her, I got some flower sacks. I'm gonna show you guys now. I was able to get some really pretty flower sets whilst on the way up to meet Tash and I love all the pretty colourful roses. Then I met Tash and we head up to Dobby's. We got to Dobby's and I got a photo taken of me in front of these pretty hanging baskets that I'm going to show you guys now. I then got some flower stats from the garden centre that I'm going to show you guys now. I love that purple one with the white splodges on. It looks like Galaxy. I find them so fascinating. And then me and Tash went off into the cafe and I got given a voucher for two free drinks and two cakes as it's my birthday coming up. And I have a Dobby's card with them, which is a nice little treat from them for me. And I decided to take Tash along and have some tea and cake with her as she is my bestie. And we had some cake and tea and I'm going to show you a photo of the tin cake and also a selfie that we got from the cafe now. The cake and tea was so delicious. I had a bit of carrot cake and a pot of tea and Tash had a bit of coffee and walnut cake and a pot of tea as well. We then stayed in there and just chatted for a bit and just chilled and then we went off and had a look around some more of the garden centre and I got some plant stats on the plant section that I'm going to show you guys now. We got plant stats from the outside plant section instead of the one inside for a change as I normally always go to the one inside but I noticed there were a few plant snaps outside and found a load of them so I got off from there instead and they've got such lovely colours and patterns and I love all the little plant displays they have outside and went and had a look around the outside area and it's so big and then I sat on this little like archway little chair that they have out in there and Tash got stuff with me and I'm gonna show you guys that now. I then came across some more flowers, so I got some more flower photography that I'm going to show you guys now. I just love flower photography so much. Flower and plant photography makes me so happy. I could spend all day in the garden centre if I could. Then on the way out, me and Tash got some ice creams and I'm going to show you guys a photo of just ice creams that we had. The ice lollies were so good. I had a Tristan lolly, it's such a classic. Then we made our way back and I stopped off at one stop on the way back to get some stuff for the games like in the evening. And then me and Tash got back to mine and she popped in for a cuppa and we ended up watching The Maze Runner. 
and then she headed off home and I was seeing her later and then I worked on two new illustrations that I'm going to show you guys now. Here are two of my new illustrations that I'm going to show you guys. First of all, I'm going to show you guys this one here. She's got this pantsuit on, which is giving me ABBA vibes. I love the shoulder pad with the whooshing and the netting sleeves. And she's got some black long nails and a wing on. And she's got a headband and she's got this dream catcher earring and a black choker necklace. And she has long flowing hair and she has these boots on. And yeah, I love this look. And then onto this one here, she's got very long black hair and then she has this purse and again very long nails and then a ring and she has this shoulder padded shirt with a collar, a black necklace and then she has this heart cut top with a belt with a buckle on and then these jeans and one of her legs is behind the other, her foot's behind the other and this black boot and yeah I love these new illustrations. I then got dropped down to Jen for the games night and I was a little bit early and so I went off to my grandma's who just just on the corner and I got a snap of a cute heart shaped flower weave that she has on her door. I'm sure you guys. So beautiful. I then stayed in there for a bit and I had a lovely catch up with my grandma and we just watched a bit of TV and had a cuppa and some biscuits and then it was time to go around for the game site. So I then headed over to Jen's and we had roasts for tea and some cheesecake and bits of chocolate cake. And I'm gonna show you guys that. The food was so good and there were quite a lot of us there and we then played some games and I'm gonna show you guys snaps of some of the games that we played now. One of the games that I played, I'd never played before and I won, so I guess that's beginner's luck for you. And then we played Monopoly Go, which is Dean's favorite game to play, he loves it. And Jen's also loving it now, because she's very good at winning that game. And we then played Uno No Mercy, which is a bitch of a game, and it just didn't hold back on the punches. Oh, I was just like, blimey my neck. It was brutal, but I didn't come last last, so I was like third last, so I was still in there for a while, but it was just crazy, it was chaos. And then at the end of the night, me and Tash walked back together and we walked like halfway so she then headed back to hers, so I headed back to mine so we didn't have too far to go either way and then I got back, got to my PJs, finished writing my journal, put that away and then I was watching Home and Away and the UK soaps and then I went off to bed and then on my Thursday I got up and I was listening to a bit of music and doing some drawing and colouring in and had some toast and just watching Red, White and Royal Blue. And I cannot believe they're doing a sequel. I'm so excited for that. And I then got a Mayor Safi and I'm gonna show you guys that. It was quite gloomy out, so I had to put a jumper on. I know it's June, it's supposed to be warm and sunny, not looking like it's blooming winter. So I put my favorite jumper on. It's probably one of my favorite jumpers I've ever got from a child shop and I just love it so much. It's white with red and blue stripes on the sleeves and it's so comfortable and fits with like a glove. And it started to look like it was gonna rain. So I wasn't gonna go for a walk and then it brightened up. So I then headed off on a walk and I got some flowers that I wanna show you guys. Now. I locked up as my mum and dad had gone for food with my grandma so I had my key with me and didn't want to be getting locked out in case I went off and they'd gone out 
and I didn't have my key just in case they weren't back before I got back. So I then went off to the shops and got myself some lunch and then got some stuff to watch the second part of Bridgerton season three. And then I got back and started watching that and I had some snacks and I'm gonna show you guys a photo of the snacks that I got for the Bridgerton season three part two watch now. A good selection there. The toffee popcorn did not last long and boy, what a great part. Such a great series. It was a bit of a slow burn at first. Personally, I was a bit like, mm, I didn't think I'd like it that much. I mean, season two would always be my favorite. For me, in opinion, I saw a post on Twitter saying about ranking Bridgerton one, two and three, and I put two, three, one. The first series doesn't, I didn't like it, the first series as much as the second and the third season. So that's my ranking of it. Do not attack me. I love the show nonetheless. And so, yeah, I just loved it so much. Pollen, Half My Heart and Anthony, Kate and Anthony. Oh my God, I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to spoil it in case none of you guys have watched it and that's the worst. And I'm not very good at with things like that. I always end up like with soaps. I'm talking to my colleagues and one of my colleagues who we watch, we both watch these shows, I'm so bad forever accidentally spoiling it. So I'm not saying anything, but what a bloody great show. I love it. But I've binge watched the whole series and now I have to wait two more years until a new series, till series four. So I'll be rewatching it. I'll be watching both all of it. I probably I might give series one another rewatch and see if I like like it a bit more. I mean I I don't know. I love it, but I guess season, there's something about season two and series three that just have my heart. I think it's probably because of Kate and Anthony, especially Anthony. I mean Anthony is such a great character. I mean Jonathan Bailey, oh what a hunk. But anyway, I love Richard so much. And then I was just listening to a bit of music and doing some drawing, colouring in and just watching some stuff off record and then my mum and dad got back and then I got myself ready for Touch Rugby and got dropped to Touch Rugby and it was such a great session, there was loads of new faces there and we were doing so well and I was doing some really great passing and catching and running and stopping, I mean once I won there's no stopping me so I've been trying to work on the breaks and having to run back to where I got caught from. And yeah, it went really quick. And then we got back, I got showered and changed into my PJs. And then for my tea, I had curry. And I'm gonna show you guys a photo of that now. The curry was so delicious. And then me and my younger sister were in a room chatting all things Bridgerton. And I got a mirror selfie from her mirror, which has loads of these leaves all around it. And I'm gonna show you guys that mirror selfie. Love that mirror with the leaves all around it. Then I was watching the UK soaps, finished writing my journal, listened to a bit of music, and was doing some drawing and coloring in. And then I was reading some more of Solitaire and had a cup of tea and some biscuits, and was just tidying up my office for my been working on some illustrations and doing some coloring in. And then I was just watching some TikToks and some vlogs and some funny dog and cat videos. And then I was catching up on Love Island. And then I went off to bed. And on my Friday, I got up ready to go off to morning group and I had some breakfast, I was listening to a bit of music and just watched a bit of TV. And then my mum dropped me off to morning group and we were doing some baking and I always love baking and have so much fun there. Morning group is always so lovely and all my worries and stress just goes out the window and the stuff just always goes so quickly. You know what they say, time flies for having fun and we made and decorated some cupcakes and I'm going to show you guys a clip of the cupcakes that I made from Morning Group now. Oh, made some yeah, cupcakes then. at Morning Group. Mm -hmm. so lots of sprinkles and icing on, they look so good. The cupcakes turned out really well. Then I had to go to the bathroom and they had a really pretty mirror in there. Uh, you know, I love a mirror safi and so I've got a mirror safi from there that I'm going to show you guys now. Wearing my favourite jumper and my hair was looking great and they were all complimenting me on my haircut which is really lovely. Then my mum picked me up 
I then got back and I had one of my cupcakes that I'd made at morning group with a cup of tea and had some softy sandwiches for my lunch and was listening to a bit of music and just doing some drawing and coming in and watching some TikToks and posting some TikToks and was watching some vlogs and some funny dog and cat videos and listening to a bit of Sabrina Carpenter. I love her new song, Please Please Please, which has been stuck on my head on repeat. And then I got myself ready and went off for a walk and I got some flower so I'm gonna show you guys now. I had a lovely walk, getting lots of lovely flower stacks, and then came across these pretty patterned leaves that I'm going to show you guys. I then made my way back, and on the way back from my walk, I got some more flower stacks that I'm going to show you guys now. Such pretty colours and patterns on those flowers. Then I got back and I had a couple of tins of biscuits and was just watching a bit of Netflix and listened to some music. And then I got myself ready for work, got up to work and I was doing five tail clothes and we had a great team on and absolutely smashed the clothes. And it was pretty busy and I was just doing lots of food and drink orders and wanting food and drinks and clean tables and sawing tractors with the regulars. And then after work, me and Tash and Ruben who I was on shift with and some others went off to the pub afterwards and I got a mere selfie from there that I'm gonna show you guys now. I then got back from being at the pub and for my tea I had spaghetti bolognese with a ton of parmesan cheese. I don't want to show you guys the face of that now. Spaghetti bolognese is probably one of my favourite meals ever. It's so good. Then I was watching the new Doctor Who and listening to a bit of music and doing some drawing and colouring in and finished writing my journal and put that away and then I went off to bed and on my Saturday I got up ready for work and I didn't have work until 11 which meant I was able to have a little bit of a lion. I then got up and got ready for work and had some breakfast and then I got dropped to work and went on to co-op to got myself a drink from there before work and also popped to two of the flower shops and I'm going to show you guys some flower stacks that I got from one of the flower shops now. I then got some flower stacks from there that I'm going to show you guys now. I was there just chatting with the flower shop keepers in there and then I popped off to one of the other flower shops. I don't want to show you guys the flower shops I got from there now. Then I was going to get myself a pastry from Greg's but there was a massive queue out the door so I then just had a little look for one sort of charge shots just before heading into work. I then got clocked into work, put my bag away and had my drink that I got from the co-op and it was so bloody busy. I was wearing so many bits of food and drinks and cleaning loads of tables and so I tried to some of the regulars and they had loads of cute dogs in so I was getting some dog bowls for them for some water and then it calmed down and I did 11 till 5 and the football's on at the moment and where I work we don't show football so it meant it calmed down and was a little bit more steady and then I clocked off and I got a mirror safari from one of the mirrors from my workplace that I'm going to show you guys now. Love that mirror. Then I made my way back and on the way home from work I got some flasks that's so I'm going to show you guys. Love the sunflowers and lovely roses outside of one of the flower shops. They normally shut 
by five, but they were still open as they had wedding bouquets to do for a wedding the next day. So I was able to get snaps of those whilst on the way back and also got a snap of some succulents that I'm gonna show you guys now. I then got home and I was then having some lunch and I had some cheese rolls with soft cheese and a cup of tea and those cheese rolls from Colt Bakery are literally mwah. And then I was just tidying up my office a bit and I'm gonna show you guys a clip of that now. So the other night I couldn't sleep so I decided to give my desk a little bit of a move about of some of the stuff and these are all of my pen pots. I love this one here that says odds and sods and this little thing here that says Dan's office. So some of these were along here and I've moved them all onto this side of the desk to kind of free up the space here and have this little box here that has some of my trinkets in and put some plushies on top. So this little cactus one here and this sandwich one and cake one to put them here. And then I've rejigged this bit as well, put some of my plushies up here and some more up at the back here. And I love this panda little plant pot here and also have a panda sharpener and a little panda pen. I love pandas so much. And then put these books that I'm currently reading on this side here with this little plant pot here to keep this up, otherwise it'll probably fall over. And then I've freed up this space because I had uh, some more stuff along here that I put away. So I've got all this space now to be doing my writing and drawing on. And yeah, I really like how it looks. Some may say it looks a little bit too crowded, but I like it like this and being able to see everything. And love my pot figures here. I'm going to be getting hopefully some shelving put up. God, I swear but getting these put on, on shelves and also all of my inbox dolls on shelf. And we'll be showing you guys that. Hopefully be getting my room sorted out so my I'll be getting shelves and stuff to be put up for my dolls and my pop figures. And yeah, loving how my desk is looking. And yeah, I just love having this desk and we'll give you a further desk tour in the future it's looking really good i've given a bit of a makeover moved a few things about it looks a lot more spacious now then i had some spaghetti for my tea which was left here from the other night and then we were watching a bit of midsummer murders and then i was watching a new doctor episode and it was so good I can't wait for the last episode of the series next Saturday. It looks amazing. And then I finished my toy journal, put that away, and I got my uniform ready for work the next day. And then on my Sunday, which is today, I was supposed to be doing a 10 to 3, but instead I did a 9 to 3, so one of my colleagues who didn't finish till late on Saturday night could start later, so it meant that she'd get a bit of a lion. And so I got up and got showered and changed and had some breakfast and then got dropped up to work by my dad. I then got to work and helped open up the cafe and then was just doing some food and drink orders and bill taking and running food and drinks and cleaning tables. And it was Father's Day, happy Father's Day to the dads out there. And it was so busy and quite a lot of people were being quite wild and some people have been pretty rude on us. It's like, dude, we can only go as fast as we can with, our, with the food and drinks that we're making. And so it was pretty hectic and it calmed down and I was just doing a massive clean up and it was cleaning tables inside and outside. And it was a lovely side day, lovely blue skies, perfect weather for Father's Day. So it, went, it was quite busy and I was glad when it calmed down a bit and was able to get a bit of a breather, get a bit of fresh air. So I went outside, I was getting some tables and kind of just, oh God, kind of like just calming that down a bit because it was pretty stressful. And I then finished it free and I clocked off and got changed into this t-shirt that I've got on now. I love this t-shirt so much with some plants on. And then I got my bag and headed off 
and on the way back I got some flour sacks that I'll show you guys now. I had a lovely stroll back from work, enjoying the sunshine and getting some lovely flower stops. I then got home and I had some lunch and just a bit of music. I was just doing some drawing and colouring in. I watched some vlogs and TikToks and some funny dog and cat videos. And me and my younger sister were then just watching a bit of Golden Girls. I love that show so much. And my mum had gone to pick my grandma up to come over for her belated birthday celebrations and Father's Day celebrations. And then they arrived and my old sister and older brother and our family friend who was down to visit Val in the end room playing this ball game called Magic and he went off home after staying for a few days so we thanked him for coming down and gave him a hug and he headed home and my younger brother and his girlfriend are currently in Spain and they've been sending videos and photos in our family group chat and it looks amazing and I'm glad they're having a great time jealous i wish i was in spain right now and then we gave my grandma her birthday presents and my dad his father's day presents and then we had our father's day slash grandma's birthday party tea and i want to show you guys a photo of the party tea that we had it was so delicious and then we sang happy birthday to my grandma and for our old little Victoria sponge cake and she blew out the candles and then we had some cake and had a little bit of trifle as well and I love trifle so much it's probably one of my favourite puddings and I'm now off to go and play some board games with my siblings. I hope you guys have all had a lovely week slash weekend and all have a great week ahead. Please like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you with a new vlog coming very soon. Bye!